Okay, here we go. We're looking at uh, replacing the pads on the back. Now the caliper piston, the caliper is held in place by the flexible hose at the rear of the hub assembly. Unfortunately, that then goes into the um, rigid pipe, so there's no way to move that to get extra clearance. So in order to get to the pads, you actually have to pull both the top and the bottom bolts um, on the uh, carrier mechanism. So again, take those out and then put them back immediately to make sure that no dust or dirt gets in. Um, then you can get access to the pads pretty straightforward. Um, just note that there is a spring here which probably produces some sort of gap um, between the disc and the pad uh, for some bizarre reason. Anyway, uh, both pads are removed fairly easily. Um, on this side, on the outbound side, there was just one shim. On the out inbound side, there was an anti screw shim and a flat shim for the piston to uh, sit on. Uh, nothing else of note really, apart from the fact when I tried to fit the spring, I noticed that I couldn't fit it into the top of the pad what it was was there was paint in the hole so it was actually drilled so just just a note um, these particular pads are pagids and they're marked for um, Mazda MPV range I don't know whether you can see that probably not anyway the part number is T0024 and it's for the Mazda MPV range and really I think that's probably about it fewer tools needed on this side apart from the fact that this bolt here is a 14 millimeter so you may or may not have a 14 mil spanner or a socket to uh, to put that in in terms of um, degree of wear of the uh, pads that are removed you can see there hopefully the notch that's the uh, sort of wear witness notch that the MOT man looks for the presence of and we're not very far off that disappearing Interesting to note that the, the pads seem to have a Mitsubishi logo on the back of them. Uh, NS162, aka NS162FF. Now whether these are the pads that were fitted in Japan or not, I have absolutely no idea. Anyway, um, all I've got to do now is do the other side, put the back wheels on and do a gentle road test. And uh, we're sorted basically.